Some of you are probably wondering why am I standing in waders on a pier with a plug in my hand like an ass, but basically this new Penn Slammer 3 has an IPX6 ratings, which means it's splash proof, not waterproof. Um, we're going to put it through some testing. Of course, we're not scientists, we're just going to put it through our testing. But basically the, the point for a surf caster is when you take some water on, uh, when you're getting either splashed or if you have to swim to the rock, this uh, notion of guys uh, cranking the reels underwater and uh, skishing is bullshit. There's about three guys in the whole world who does it, and there's about 3,000 guys who claim to do it. So, you know, let's not get carried away with guys cranking underwater. Once in a while, you get washed off the rock and you have to regain your line and your reel's gonna be underwater. So in that circumstance, you're definitely gonna be cranking and you would like your reel to be sealed or at least water resistant. But as far as skishing and dragging an eel behind you and, and cranking underwater, very few people actually do it. So it's not really relevant to any rod they make. Why am I holding a line? Well, we have a, a pen slammer here that's been soaking in a few feet of water for a while. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the beach and we're going to try to simulate some of the underwater cranking and then we will open it in one sequence to see if there's any water that got into the gearbox. All right, we're back in the water. Obviously for a surf caster, the most important thing is the splashing of the waves. We're not in the ocean front, we're in a bay, so the, the water's flat, so you don't get a lot of waves. But you know what we're talking about, the waves splashing on you when you're trying to cast is when you get good, you're going to get most of your water on a reel. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go and crank this reel underwater. And then we're going to go down to the bench in the same sequence with a screwdriver and open the case and see it. We're going to fast forward to it, but we are going to leave it all in the same motion so you guys don't think that we swapped the reels and stuff like that. We're just going to fast forward it up to the bench. Hopefully we can do this in a decent amount of time before our camera uh, dies down the battery. I'll make a cast and I will put this reel underwater and I will crank it up and you'll see if there's any water intrusion in here. Obviously I don't want to go too deep. I just want to keep the reel underneath. And as you've seen it before, we had it dunked in about six or seven feet of water for a while on the top of the pier. Uh, so what we want to see is if any of the water got into the case. Uh, my cameraman, who is a huge pen guy, was actually impressed for once. Uh, he never got around, or he never really could see spending a thousand dollar on reel, but uh, and he's been a pen guy for well, since Moses, okay? So, he's actually looking forward to uh, uh, seeing what's inside the gear case, if there's any water. So, I'm gonna instruct my cameraman just to follow me with a camera on. While we get back to the bench, I'll grab a screwdriver and we'll go and we'll open it. Uh, yes, the video is gonna be a little shaky, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, here's the moment of truth here. Open the case. I'm going to ask my camera to come in and zoom in here on the gears. I don't see any water at all, not a drop of it. Uh, but then again, kind of hard to see this so we don't see any water so I'm assuming you know I don't know if if this kind of test for you if you do it it's going to be you're going to get the same results uh, I just kind of want to show you you can see a, a seal here running all along the body here there's a seal inside of 
handle here. There's also on this diagram, you can see where all the seals are located. So all in all, very impressive reel. Uh, for the, for the first uh, test that we had, considering we only had a reel for a month, considering uh, we caught some big bluefish with a, with a real good drag. The reel looks brand new. Um, the water resistance seems very good. Uh, I would not advise anybody to crack, crank the reel underwater. That's just not something that's done. But uh, as far as the water resistance of this reel, it looks really, really good. And, uh, and uh, for this uh, price range, uh, this, this might be a very, very, very big winner. Uh, at least for the surf casters, uh, when it comes from uh, when it comes to our, our products from Penn. I mean, Penn really came with some really really good stuff last few years between a battle and Clash and now this and Torx getting upgraded. Um, I'm 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 impressed, and I'm sure my uh, cameraman is who's uh, laughing his ass off right now uh, and saying, uh, "Wow, it might be time to uh, upgrade my uh, 704 from 1969." See you later.